Chinese tech stocks crash? Sick of holding your Chinese tech stocks? Let me tell you what to look out for. Just to recap, what we'll give the US short sellers the opportunities to short sell Chinese tech stocks? Remember, there's a series of regulations being implemented in China last year in 2021. There's also potential internal interest group within China not being very consistent with country's directive, meaning China's directive. There's financial media reporting that China online brokers stumble after PBOC officials call them illegal. There's a lot of these kind of messages being splitting up from China. And 11 March, we actually saw a news to say that SEC, Security Exchange Commission, has sent out notices to five Chinese firms listed in US that they may face the listing as a result of them not sharing their auditing reports with them. And this is a Hang Seng Tech Index chart for the last three years. You see the market going up to over 11,000 points. Only the 10 badly Hang Seng Tech Index right now is at 4,247 points on 11 March, down 4.28% on that single day, 11 March, with Hang Seng Tech Index right now down over 62% from all time peak. And it's actually down 25% from December 2021. Here, all the critical price points, 6,900, 6,600, 5,900, 5,300 have all been breached. And after it's been breached, tank another 25%. The battle of the US versus China system will not end. US short sellers will not give up until global investors have lost confidence in Chinese tech and China's system. I really wonder what is China authorities going to do? Are they willing to let global investors lose confidence in their system as well as their asset class? It's a very risky thing if they don't do anything substantial and significant. We know that Chinese speculators, as mentioned in the news by China, that they are aware speculators are short selling Chinese tech stocks as well as Hong Kong stocks. But we are still waiting for something significant for them to do. They are aware, but so what? As the May Tuan news mentioned and shown earlier, as well as the Jack Ma reappearance in Hong Kong. Even for China to hint that its crackdown on tech giants is coming to an end in October 2021, being stopped the short selling pressure on Hansing Tech Futures and Hansing Tech Index. And we see that there's news during that period in October, November 2021 that China tech stocks like again as tensions with US rise again. In fact, the tension has not really subsided despite Donald Trump stepping down as US president. Does financial results of Chinese tech listed in US matter anymore? Why do I say so? Because on 10 March 2022, JD.com, which used to be a market darling and was relatively less affected compared to other Chinese tech stocks, had tanked from 71 USD to 48 USD within a very short span of 12 days. Does results matter anymore? I think that what the US short sellers want is to create the impression that Chinese tech stocks and assets are not investable. One concerning fungibility is that ADR listed in US can be converted into Hong Kong shares, but yet it does not provide a safeguard to prevent share price to fall further. But we do know that ultimately value will win over the long run, but short term wise, price pressure on Chinese tech stock is clearly on the downside. DT is a classic example that falls 44% on a single day just because of a single news to say that DT is reportedly halting its Hong Kong listing. But such a news that comes after the day when SEC sent notices to five Chinese firms listed in US may make me really start to think what is the relationship. To me, it's clearly the battling of the two systems, US versus China. Such a coincidence. If DT ultimately has to delist, I don't think it will delist at a price of less than two USD, as they and their bankers are likely to get a lawsuit for this. Why? Because the IP are around 14 USD. And within a short span of 9 months, it is down by more than 18%. But bear in mind that short sellers want to create the impression that Chinese tech stocks are not investable, so they will keep on pushing down TT share price. Oh, bear in mind that the low can definitely go lower. For people interested in investing in Chinese tech stocks, one has to be careful and see when a potential deal between CSRC, meaning China's regulator, as well as US regulator, SEC, can do a deal such that the accounting matters won't be an issue for Chinese tech stock listed in US. 
we did see that CSRC react promptly and actually release a news on their Weibo account that they will try to work together as fast as possible to reach a deal with SEC and they are likely to have a positive news to be released soon for potential investors in Chinese tech stocks. You also have to watch out for any signs of potentially improving US-China relationship. Lastly, look through the series of different Chinese tech stocks like Tuya, Miniso, Joy, Ding Dong, Huya, Yala, Tencent, Weibo, Bilibili, etc. They have all plunged over 10%. And for Baidu, Pintoto, which used to be market darling as well, they're also falling more than 10%. Ask yourself this question. Do you really have the emotional maturity to hold such stocks when they are plunging? As always, this should not be construed as any investment or trading advice.